Well, today I am doing the Hot Lips Hula Hand Tag, and I'm really excited to do this one because it just seems like so much fun. I have really been enjoying watching everyone do these, and I believe I was tagged by a couple different people to do this, and I am so very sorry because I cannot remember if more than one person tagged me for this, but it was definitely Linda at Goddess1207, so I'm going to link to her down below. If I remember who else tagged me, or if you know that you tagged me, I would be happy to link your channel down below, and I do apologize that I'm not remembering that. Usually I will write down right away whoever has tagged me for a video so I don't forget. You may see little ears popping up here. Somebody, <laughs> Somebody's very, very needy today, so I'm gonna let her sit on my lap while I do this. So let's dive in and get started. I'm actually behind a little bit on tags too. I should say I have a few coming up. Uh, my friend Elle at Elle's for a Living was very kind to tag me on the spring tag. So I'm gonna be doing that one coming up shortly as well. So be on the lookout for that. So without further ado, let's see. Number one, in 100 words or less, describe your winter and summer skin types. Well, I would say in the winter, I'm definitely more normal to dry. And in the summer, I'm more normal to combination. I get oily through my T-zone. So as it gets more warm and humid, I'm definitely getting more oily as that happens. Number two, what eye cream did you use last night? Well, I have been using the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. Um, I, let's see, I actually talked about that in a video. I did a review on it. So it looks like this. I've really been enjoying this. I've been using it every night. Love it, it's great. Number three, how is the hunt going for a neck cream? Well, I don't use a neck cream at all, um, but I will say I am trying to get a lot better about bringing any sunscreen products that I use down onto my neck and chest. I'm terrible about remembering that. I religiously wear it on my face, and then for some reason I never remember to bring it down, and I'm starting to notice a little bit of discoloration in this area, so I'm trying to get better about that. It's really important to cover all the areas that are exposed to the sun. Number four, what skincare products are helping you win the war on aging? Well, I would say I noticed the greatest improvement in my skin in the past six months or so since I started using Retin-A. I've really been loving that. I love the texture of my skin. It's giving me a little bit more brightness, uh, you know, lightened age spots and things like that. So I've really been enjoying the Retin-A and I would say that has shown the greatest, most noticeable improvement for me in my skincare routine that, I, you know, that I've ever tried. Uh, number five, do you still use black eyeliner? Well, I don't. It just does not look good on me. And if you don't believe me, um, there's a video a few videos back and I don't remember what it was, but you'll know it as soon as you see the thumbnail because I wore black eyeliner and I don't know what I was thinking. I look horrible. Uh, you'll know it's me because you'll think it's a raccoon, but then you realize, no, it's not. It's Lynette. I look horrible in black eyeliner and I do think it has its place in a really beautiful smoky eye and for some people it's just really suited but on me it, it just doesn't look good so I go with more of a black brown which is what I prefer. Uh, number six, is face powder your friend or enemy? Well, it's very much my friend since I found the loose powder that I've been using for a while now, and that is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Loose Powder. I love this stuff. It really does blur um, imperfections and pores and softens the lines a little bit on my forehead, which is on my biggest area of concern, so I love that stuff. I think the wrong powder can definitely make things worse, though, for sure. Number seven, do you care if blush has sparkle? Well, I kind of feel the same way as a lot of other ladies that I've seen do this tag. I like a sheen. I think a sheen is really beautiful, especially coming into spring and summer, but large chunks of glitter or sparkle is something that I don't like at all. I don't want it to be obvious. I just want it to be a very subtle glow that looks uh, youthful and refreshing and brightening and things like that, but I don't want it to be obvious glitter. Um, number eight, any makeup tricks to help you look more youthful? Um, I think wearing concealer underneath the eyes definitely helps. If you look more tired and dark circles under your eyes, I think that can definitely be aging on someone. I would say when your teeth yellow or discolored, that can be a little bit more aging. So that's something that I always try to stay up on. I do love my coffee. Um, so I try to stay up on it because I know that if it gets too much discoloration, it could be harder to take those stains back out. Number nine, give your beauty sisters of a certain age three quick makeup tips. 
Well, I would say for one thing, um, wear mascara. You know, mascara opens up the eyes, it lifts the lids, and it just gives you that more awake, youthful appearance. Curling the lashes also, I would say go with that. You know, always just curl the lashes and wear a nice coat of mascara to really brighten and give yourself a more awake, youthful look. Um, I would say wearing a pop of color on your lips is definitely a good idea. Even if you're just running out and you don't have anything else on, put a quick swipe of something on your lips. For me, the thing that I grab when I'm in a real rush would be like Dior Lip Glow. It's just a nice youthful looking balm. It's something that's brightening. And I really think that can make a big difference in your overall appearance. And then kind of going back to what I said before, I would say whitening your teeth. Uh, discolored teeth can be something that looks aging on you, so if you can control that a little bit, I think that also gives sort of a more youthful appearance. Number 10, are you using any weapons of mass destruction on your age spots? Well, not other than the Retin-A, I'm not using any targeted treatment. I do have one age spot that's been sort of stubborn on this part of my face, and it's really the only one that I have right now, so I'm trying to be more proactive and stave them off rather than trying to get rid of them later. Um, so I do, like I said, wear sunscreen religiously and then I use my Retin-A and that seems to be working. I think that um, getting some a more targeted treatment down the road might be something I will look into that's something that might be unavoidable at some point, but for right now this routine's working you know, pretty well for me. Number 11, does the phrase thinning hair have any special meaning to you? Well, this answer is going to sound strange, but maybe, and I'm not sure. Um, and the reason why I say that is because my hair has always been sort of fine and thin, but it feels exactly the same, like, you know, in the back of my head and everywhere, but it does seem a little bit thinner to me right here. Like that's the only area on my head is just right here. It's, so it's really strange. Sometimes it looks worse than others to me. I think my hair gets more matted down in this area. If I'm in harsh overhead lighting, I'll really notice that it looks thinner in that area. So I can't really determine if it's thinner because it is getting thinner, if it's that's because I, I part my hair all the time. I don't really know. So I guess it's a good possibility that it is thinning a little bit. So what can you do? Number 12, which looks younger, your hands or your neck? Um, I would probably say my neck right now. I think my hands do look a little older. Uh, maybe not necessarily because they have age spots, but just they're a little bony and kind of older, I think, looking a little bit. Uh, number 13, what bothers you the most? 11s, crow's feet, or lip lines? I would say lip lines. That's something that I started noticing in the last few years, but I will say the Retin-A has really softened those, but it started to bother me um, right here on both sides. I was noticing that a little bit more, so I do try to avoid things like drinking out of straws or water bottles, anything where you have to really, you know, purse your lips. Of course, you know, smoking would exacerbate anything like that, so any of those kinds of motions that you can avoid where you would be pursing your lips that would be something to avoid let's see number 14 have you had to pluck a chin hair yet <laughs> no not yet but I'm ever vigilant because I didn't actually know in my naivete I did not know that that could happen until I started seeing people do this video so now I'm always checking and feeling for any sort of stubble so I guess it's inevitable at some point but not <laughs> not yet that cracks me up uh, number 15, oh, it gets better. Um, what do you do about your mustache? Well, fortunately, I don't have dark hair in my mustache area, but I do have, um, I'm noticing to gain a little bit longer, a few stray longer hairs on both sides here, kind of like a catfish, I guess. So uh, I will try to pluck those a little bit if I see one, and sometimes I have to get in just the right light, but to me, they are sort of noticeable when you're in, you know, sunlight or something like that. So um, I do try to to keep up with those a little bit. And actually Lori over 40 has a really good tip and video about that, about plucking in the car where you get really good natural light. So that's definitely a good tip for you. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm just bad allergies today. So I've got a little bit of a scratchy throat. Um, number 
16, how many pairs of reading glasses do you own? Well, none yet, but it's funny because I've actually been considering getting a pair of those. Maybe just something uh, like the lowest magnification, uh, something at Walgreens, nothing too fancy. But I'm just noticing a little bit more when I've spent a long time on the computer or trying to read labels when my eyes are fatigued or something, I'm noticing that I'm having a little bit more trouble focusing in. So that is something I'm considering mostly for nighttime, low light conditions and things like that. But fortunately, I have pretty good vision, so that hasn't been a big issue yet. Number 17, you win your choice of neck lift, eye lift, breast lift, or tummy tuck. Which do you choose? I would say eye lift, definitely. That is something that I can probably see in my future as I get a little older. Um, I have, you know, sort of a hooded lid. Um, you know, I always think that maybe like a blepharoplasty where they go in and remove the little extra skin right there would probably be a good idea at some point. And it's funny because uh, when I filmed my recent video, um, the uh, five tips for lining mature eyelids, I had pulled up on my eye to show you how to remove that hood or move it out of the way to access your lash line. And then I thought, oh, I like the way I look a lot better when I'm holding up my eyes like this. So I decided I'm either gonna film all of my videos like this or maybe just get an eye lift at some point. So, cause I kind of like that look on me. I think we would all like to maybe hold our faces back when we're filming a little bit. So. Number 18, are you more concerned about wrinkling or sagging? I would say at this point wrinkling um, because I obviously already have some. Um, my forehead is my biggest area of concern right now and so that really bothers me. I have a very expressive face so I'm seeing them most pronounced here. Um, I think these are called parentheses or laugh lines. I've heard it called both ways. And then of course my forehead. So those are the two areas that I'm noticing the most that I kind of you know, focusing on. Number 19, do you go sleeveless to Walmart in the summertime? Yes, I have lots of sleeveless blouses that I like to wear in the summertime, but I have very chickeny arms, so that is something that I'm working on. Um, they've just always been really thin and chickeny. I guess that's a word, that's why I call them chickeny. Um, you get the meaning by that anyway. So I'm trying to tone them up a little bit for summertime because I've just noticed that they're so thin and, and gangly looking. Number 20, best memory of your mother's beauty routine. Well, I would say, um, I don't know if it's part of her routine, but she used to give me her empty containers from blushes and powder products and things like that so I could play with them and she would leave the little brushes that come with it for me. So I would always take them with the leftovers. And then um, I like to carry the little palettes with me in my purse and I've been carrying a purse forever. I just used to be obsessed with them and still sort of am. So I really enjoyed having those little empty containers and carrying them around with me and feeling like I had, you know, real big girl beauty products. So, and now I really do have big girl beauty products. So it's lots of fun. So anyway, that is it. I think all of my girlfriends have done this tag. If you have it, I tag you. Um, and I also, not sure I wanna tag anybody because I don't want to insinuate that anyone's old enough to do this tag, but it is a lot of fun. You have to be able to laugh at yourself and take aging, you know, as it comes. It's a part of life and none of us are getting any younger. So I think it's a lot of fun to just talk about these things and just get it out there because it's it's happening. So anyway, I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.